السلام عليكم سيدي وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله سيدي how to, do we deal with loved ones who are going through such a condition where they are always occupied with bad memories and under oppression of past experiences you know the the path is the only path so it's it's difficult to worry about others whom you're in charge of are your children your responsibility to teach them Allah's way others difficult so the focus is always i have to take this lesson for myself i have to apply it to myself when I began to forgive all those who harmed me and on a constant daily basis I forgive them, doesn't mean I want to see them or hang out with them, don't mix the two because people know everybody's story so I thought you forgave them, doesn't mean I want to be sit down with them at all because of what they inflicted and they did. But I forgave them in my heart that I don't hold any rancor and I don't want them occupying free space in my heart and in my mind. And on a daily basis I have to remind myself, I forgive them, I forgive them, I forgive them. For if not then powerful people can begin to harm. So as you're developing your spiritual strength your anger can be a source of harm for people. So Allah wants them to be trained that hold no rancor in your heart, hold no anger within your heart. Forgive for my sake, for my recompense. Allah speaking to the servant, Prophet speaking to the servant, what I can give you is much more than you keeping that anger in your heart and hoping one day you'll be able to yell at them in the court of law in Allah's presence. Turn it over to us, if we want to punish them we'll punish them and in the same time Allah will give you from His bounty. So you took a path in which to forgive and forgive and forgive, daily you have to remind yourself, it's not like one time it's just come and go. Forgive, forgive, forgive. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Allah, once we practice upon ourselves, then others will learn from our experience and then we're able to talk as an experienced person. But when we ask questions about helping others, I think we're deflecting from helping ourselves and we're more interested in being a doctor instead of a patient. That's a dangerous disease of the ego. Everyone wants to be a healer, everybody wants to be a shaykh, a guide. Good God on the… when people come from out of town it's like an open clinic where instead of everybody being patients coming to see a shaykh, everybody's actually doctors. Not the physical doctors, Allah bless their souls for their support. But everybody is a spiritual doctor now is giving everybody advice. Can you imagine the physical office like that? You go to see a doctor, there's a hundred patients waiting, everyone's taking the pills out of their pockets and then handing them to everybody sitting in the waiting room. You'd be dead probably by the time you left 
taking the wrong antibiotics, taking the wrong chemicals. And that's what happens spiritually, people leave like crazy and wacky. They got awrads and zikrs, they got confused, they heard this, they heard that and those are all completely against the adab of tariqah. So it means that this is always a sign that I have to work on myself, Allah got me a chair at that table. Doesn't mean my chair included 20 other people. Well, oh, 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 what about my aunt, what about my uncle, Allah didn't give them the chair or the ticket. The chair I have was for me to cure myself, fix myself. Who's included on my chair are my children because I can put them on my lap. They don't buy a ticket, they don't have a seat. So it's not a path where one person comes and now goes and, and is going to start giving advice to 20 people. One person has to come, learn it, absorb it, live it, follow the command, do everything that's being instructed. And as a result they will be guided. Once they experienced it then they'll know how to answer that question on how to talk to somebody because now they tasted it, they saw the sourness of it, they felt the burn of it, everything. So the path is real. We said before, ilmu yaqeen wa aynu yaqeen that you heard a truth but you have to live the truth, see the truth, experience that truth. Then it's a truth for you otherwise everyone comes just to give advice to other people. That's why we said, spread our videos because it's our video, the shaykh's video. The shaykh is talking, not people. But people want to spread comments of what they interpret the video as. Then again you're becoming shaykh and shaykha. Last days shaykh is the most dangerous. Women who are not getting uh, enough recognition, they find the internet to be their source of recognition. So everybody coming out of the closets to be shaykhahs, very dangerous because that's not the role that they should be playing. They should never be putting themselves in the forefront as an imam. Why? Because the negative energy, the bad desires, all these, these dangers that Allah has asked of them that not to take that role. So it means these all open up this sort of can of worms but if everybody takes the medicine works upon themselves, feels the bitterness of that pill, then they understood the pros, the cons and the difficulty of that path and that decision inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi, thank you for your beautiful teachings last night. Every word was like a bullseye in my heart. Sayyidi, in your recent teachings you talked about the story of Nabi Musa when they passed the spot where the fish came back to life and jumped in the water. Is this related to your other teaching about remembering our particular moment in time with our shaykh, that we can use that moment in our spiritual connection as a portal into the Divine Presence? Yeah, alhamdulillah, very good. That is, that is a, a good connection that to remember one it, it's about the path that we, we know Sayyidina Musa knew that he's going to be seeing someone unseen so there must be signs of that. But if we went too fast we're going to pass all the signs. So then to retreat back looking for the signs. So then taking back that understanding of what was the sign of life coming to death uh, death coming to life and going back into the ocean. As a result the path could be slowed down until with your heart you could see. Now the example of any time a person spends in the associations of a shaykh or even just at a picture or an image that has come that you feel a, a, a familiarity with that, yes that's the keeping of that image. And that's why we have the videos out on image now because shaitan, oh don't keep their image. But every 10,000 images of zina is acceptable but just the picture of holy people is not. That's shaitan not wanting them to have a portal. So as soon as you have the image of the shaykh you're looking and closing your eyes and asking Allah that let me to always be in the company of your servants. 
And then you train yourself and train yourself and if you had that experience of, of being in their associations then you keep remembering that as a portal and a time and place and energy that never vanishes and never goes. But many have not had that, that's not important because they can make the portal by the madad. So the shaykh's connections are with shaykhs that don't even live in this time and, and, and in this time zone or time area or, or what is it, in, in this, what well, was the correct reference, in this age and time. So they, they didn't have a, any way to meet with them. So that's, that's time and, and space is of no, reveren, no relevance. But we need their surah and their face to call their soul and that's what's important. As soon as you have the pictures we said before that's the power of their pictures. When the pictures are in the home their souls are present. Anyone looks immediately called from soul to soul for that one to be present. And that's why it's such a big protection and that's why shaitans cannot stand it. As every shaitan will walk the door, what's that picture? What's this picture? But every nakedness no one says anything. Newspaper, nakedness, television inappropriate, internet, phone, everything is, is inappropriate. But as soon as you have the picture of a shaykh or someone whom you believe in your heart to be pious they remind you of Allah they remind you of Sayyidina Muhammad More important is their soul is present because you're calling on Allah's creation, not a drawing. That's why we don't like drawings, don't draw the image of the shaykhs. Allah already created them, your best is to bring the photo of their image. With the photo of their image you look immediately their soul is present with you. So you look to the surah of the shaykh, you close your eyes asking Allah that I want to be in their presence, وَقُلْ ma sadiqeen that keep the presence, I'm trying to keep your command Ya Rabbi, keep my soul to be and then you make your madad and call upon the madad and learn how to connect your heart. Worshipness is only for Allah this has nothing to do with worshipping, worshipping is only for Allah But Allah asked us, وَقُلْ ma sadiqeen have taqwa and keep the company of my pious servants. So then when you have pictures of pious servants you're fulfilling Allah's command, keep the company of my servants. And then people say, oh but Prophet said, don't, don't put the paintings and… but this is not a painting, this photograph is what Allah created. Painting you created with your hand. So this is, this is a, a trick from shaitan so people won't have these portals. But these are very, very important. They're a tremendous protection in the house. So those whom have been protected by it they know that if there's something at the window coming that's not appropriate put the shaykh's picture on the other wall. So that whatever comes to that window the first thing they're going to see is the shaykh's face. Immediately the energy of the shaykh appears and burns that shaitan. The two they don't come together. This is you talking about Divinely lights of the soul when they come immediately begin to burn these devils. They're like the sunshine on a vampire movie. Every time the vampires want to appear why Allah gives us these movies? He allows these shaitans to make the movie but they plan Allah plans better because there's always a message from the Divine. What's the message? That the shaitans are making a movie glorifying themselves as shaitans. But still within that Allah says, I'll let you glorify yourself but you better put in there that how I'm going to burn you. And then they have to show it and it's like, they're, oh okay, okay my Lord we're going to do it. And then the sunshine comes and burns them and they're always having to hide from the sun and they work within the shadows of life. Well then you want to take away the shadows. So anywhere you think there's a shadow put the shaykh's face because then there's no more shadow. The shaykh's face illuminates, you're having difficulty at work, put the shaykh's face. Those things and people trying to cause harm they're going to have a difficult time coming around. So it means this is an immense taweez because this is what Allah created. So Allah created this soul, Allah created this reality and Allah's 
like uh, Ayatul Kareem that when the truth and falsehood they don't come together and falsehood by its nature is perishing. So it means when the soul dressed in a truth comes to be present, the shaitans are of a false nature have no power in the presence of truth. What they're gonna do? They're gonna run or burn. Considering they don't like to be burned, nobody does, then they run. So these are immense, immense. Anyone who makes a comment negative is a dajjal go after them and teach them that you're wrong and the shaitans have fooled you and here's the ta'weez, here's the dalil, here are the hadith. Shaitan is fooling people to burn because the one again like we were describing, you're, you're saying that I, I shouldn't have any, any holy faces and just the faces of zina and fornication all around. You turn on the TV that's zina, you open your phone is zina, you open your magazine is zina. That's all the shaitan wants for people? Yeah because he wants to burn them. So when somebody quotes like that then because they told us not to delete anymore is go after them and say, no you're wrong, here's the hadith all with beautiful character and beautiful manners. They no these are wrong, these are wrong, these are wrong. And then that raises the ratings on the channel because they like the <laughs> involvement of people. Please make comments on the short videos, make comments. We said before in many talks, don't sit by and just not participate. That an ant tried to put out the fire of Sayyidina Sulaiman the fire of Sayyidina Ibrahim and wanted to participate with one drop. Means that anyone watching the videos, watching the short videos, make a comment. You know as soon as you make a comment the algorithm goes up, YouTube is sending us a letter that people have to make comments, have to like. Why don't it cost you just a finger to press the like button? 5,000 views and 300 likes means less than 10% awoke. How is that? How are the numbers like that? That 4,700 decided not to do anything, not to like it? Why? And they're subscribers to the channel because they think it's not important. But that, that's, that's not Islam, that's not the tariqah, that's nothing of the way. Whatever the shaykh put, you know the holy companions, if Prophet was going to spit they would catch it. That Allah described in Qur'an that, that he does not speak except that it's a revelation. Uhi al-Qur'an, the Prophet whatever he's speaking is a revelation from Allah The reverence that the holy companions had was that whatever is from this holy soul is holy. You think that people whom are listening to Muhammadan truths and haqqaiqs and realities, they just don't even like? They say, oh they probably liked it too, they probably thought oh, that, was, that was pretty interesting. Look in one minute you're not even taking time, it's coming to you faster than you can ship the channel. In one minute the, the information got out, you can't press like. And those whom are sincere they can't write some nice comments. The, the devils can because they're the first ones to attack us. How the devil has enough energy to write negative comments on every video we post? But the, the, the believers can't. So you can see our, our situation when we watch these, we watch the videos, we watch the streams, we look, oh this is, the comments are very low but the devils are weighing in, they're coming in negative, negative, negative. Where are all the positive people? Don't those people have du'as that they won't answer and don't they have difficulties in their life that they won't answer? And th those are the same people go emailing all the time, please pray for me, please pray for me. Why pray for you? How come you don't participate in anything? You can't press a like button and write a comment that's nice but you want something to be praying for you, somebody to watch out for you. So it means the shaykhs are participating, his shaykhs are watching, Prophet is watching. And all they're looking for is, how come nobody pressing a like button, a share button, put some comments down, it doesn't take any time. InshaAllah I'll inspire people to, to stand up and participate inshaAllah.
Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, how do we purify negative and haram images from our mind and soul? We have that in the meditation book. You have to get the meditation book, two copies, one for yourself, one for a friend inshaAllah. Then when you read that meditation book, we can answer that question inshaAllah and we can go deeper into it. That has to do with wudu, that you shower and wash and takes away all the sayat and, and difficulties and train yourself on how to shower in a meditation so that you can clean and wash all the negativity trying to attach to the soul inshaAllah. But get the meditation book, it's like an encyclopedia, the timeless reality. It's like an encyclopedia of all these questions for two years. Two years of questions have been put in together like a Naqshbandi Sufi meditation encyclopedia. So that if a day the internet goes down and we don't make ourselves available for infinite questions, you have all of these questions already in the book. And the people who don't have it, you know, that's not a very prepared person of faith. Because you know the internet will be down, you know they're going to shut everything, there's a day coming with no power, no nothing. And we have to be a people of faith whom we prepared for that day, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah When knowledges are being transferred to a seeker, are they aware of the new knowledges and information or is it only in their heart? What, when do these knowledges become clear? Whenever they're rushed. So you plant a tomato seed, when are you going to eat tomatoes? You look at the dirt, a little seedling is coming through, you water it, you do your zikr, you water it, now a little stem is coming. Then from the stem you look, the stem is growing. And then once the stem has grown and the bush has grown, what will you see next? Fruits are coming. When those fruits come, you begin to eat from those fruits. So the one who knows, knows. So it's not psychology and it's not uh, what's the other word I don't like of this school studies? The it's the one philosophy, yeah it's, it's not philosophy, it's actual practice. So when you're meditating, contemplating, all lights are coming into the soul. When you've made an, a strong connection with the shaykhs and you feel the fires of energy coming, you'll know because you feel it. Nobody has to describe what the fires feels like. It's like if you put your finger and say, what does fire feel like? It's okay, give me your finger, we'll go over the stove. And give me your finger, put it here. So, okay, do you see what that is? Say, yeah, that hurts. Yeah, there is no doubt. It's all physical. There is nothing, it's not a uh, philosophy. You're gonna feel the energy, you're gonna feel fires coming, you're gonna feel the fires and the heating of the body. And at that time, when you're meditating on a talk and, and, and going over what you wrote, because you have to be a custodian of knowledge, so you had to have in your life that you were writing. As the person who wrote will go back and read their, their writings and meditate. If they didn't write, it didn't burn into the heart. Alam bil qalam, Allah's law, not mine. So if you don't listen to Allah, how can anyone help you? Alam bil qalam, not alam bil text, alam bil computer. <laughs> Something so simple as qalam. You can't modify it and say, I'm going to use tech and to record you shave. But that's good for your tech, maybe your, your, your phone will be raised on Yawmul Qiyamah and it can repeat for, for you something. But the qalam, alam, ma yahlam, I'm going to teach you that which you didn't know because the qalam is a symbol of Sayyidina Muhammad and the pen is mightier than the sword. So what we have in our heart? right over our heart is qana. Most powerful, 
right? So much power that if the shaykh wants to write a taweez, he can inflict things that you can't imagine. That's how powerful the qalam is. What is sword going to do? You have to be two feet in front of somebody. The shaykh has ability to write and things to change. That's how much power comes in a qalam, right? They can write and by their talking you write what he talked and he changed your entire destiny. Somebody just tuned in to our channel from nothing and no background and was a gangster. Write these three words that we're talking about, it will change completely your destiny. Because now his kitab has Muhammadan haqqaiqs and the kitab is like, what? The angels are like, what? How did this criminal write this guy's words and now he's going to change? Say, yeah, that was the hadith of the halaqah that he sat with them and he's not with them. And Allah's promise, because Allah's promise is on the command, not my words, Allah's promise is there's so much blessing, forgive him and dress him. So, means already that dress is coming. So imagine then the one whom writing and changing their book of all the bad things that they did, now having the Muhammadan haqqaiqs, heavenly truths, heavenly realities, it completely changes the entire destiny of that person. So yeah, the, the pen is much more mightier than the sword. When Allah wants to open, Allah is going to open. They can use names and attributes and taweezes that can't be even understood. Why? Because Allah gives alam bil qalam, I'll inspire your fingers to write things that, that can move heavens and earth upside down. So don't underestimate Allah's power and izzat and might inshaAllah. We always keep ourselves to be humble, we're nothing, we're nothing but izzatullah is something that never could be understood and is immensely astonishing. So when Allah commands it, you just do it. Don't let your brain to think, oh, wow, what about texting and what about like this or no, this is not the same. So when they go back into their writings because it's now been written onto their kitab and they meditate on what they wrote, now they can have futuwa, futuhat, uh, ilham and inspirations and they begin to expand like alif. They look at it and it become alif and then it becomes al, alif, lam, fa. So it means knowledge and uloom can be opened and expanded. But it requires everyone to use all the tools that have been given and described. Anyone trying to make a shortcut, maybe cut out something. You know who understand that the most, Haji Shahid? Programmers. If I give you a line of code and say that this code is going to do the following things, somebody clever and comes and say, well I have to type all these x and this and this and this, I'll leave out this. Will it work? No, you'll have a bunch of <laughs> rubbish you typed. How programmers know that? They have to write an exact code to get the equal what they wanted to accomplish. Can you take some x's and y's out? Just because you don't feel like writing the X and the Y, I'm going to take them out today. You, you press return, nothing will be there, it'll be just a bunch of rubbish lines. Coders know that. So Allah has written a code for this entire existence. If you leave it out and, and modify the code that's been given to us by the shaykhs, well we got a bunch of nothing. InshaAllah, Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yasifoon. Wa salaamu ala al-mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ila shirf al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi wa sahabi kiram wa ala mashaykhina fi tariqat al-mashpan liyatu al-aliyya khasata al-rahim al-tariqa wa abda khaliqa shah mashpan Muhammad Waisi al-Bukhari. Sultan Awliya Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani, Nabi Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Shaykh Kabani Shaykh Adnan Kabani Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Abdul Khaliq al-Khushtawani, Sahab Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam. Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Tumma Sayyidina Bakr Sadiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman.
Imam al-Hasan Imam al-Husayn Sayyidatina Fatima Wa sahir wa sadatina wa sadaqina al fatiha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.